So hi there and welcome to Talisker Beach. Now I've come here today because it's been really stormy and I'm hoping to get some waves. Now I don't know what the waves are going to be like, they sound pretty good from here but I'm still a few hundred yards away from the beach. So I hardly ever come to places like this during the summer or even spring and autumn because it's just too busy, you'll find 20-30 people down here. But it's the middle of winter, the weather's been pretty awful and I've seen one person so far and they're on their way out so I'm hoping I'll have the beach to myself. You never know, we might get lucky. So let's pop up to the beach and see what we can find. So wow, I've got to the beach and yeah, there are plenty of waves crashing on the beach. Now they're not metre high waves that you get on some of the islands, but for sky this is, this is quite a good swell. So hopefully I'll find some shots, but at the moment I'm just going to have a look around because it's still four hours till sunset and the sea is going out, so it'll be in a completely different position at sunset than it is now. I mean, I might be able to get something while the sun is out and the waves are breaking. I don't want to limit myself just to a sunset shot, just because that's what I've got in my head. You never know, it might work out to be a really good shot while the sun's up. You might be able to capture some of the waves. So I'm going to have a look around and see what I can find.
So after trying some fast shutter speed shots to capture the waves against the headland, I think they worked okay, but they, they just weren't big enough to make them really dramatic. So I moved closer to the sea and closer down to the rocks which are just being exposed on the sand. So I found a really simple composition of the rocks in the foreground, the middle ground was the sea, and then the headland jutting out across the frame. So I used a 6 off ND filter to use a slow shutter speed, about 5 seconds, to blur the water as it rolled over the rocks. Now, I hope that'll work. They looked really good on the back of the camera, especially in black and white. So they looked really nice. And now I'm just waiting for sunset. I don't know what I'm going to get. The cloud is looking, looking hopeful, although out to the west behind the camera, there's quite a lot of clouds. So we may not get the most spectacular sunset, but hopefully they'll work. And I'm just going to take a few minutes just to chill out and take in the scene, because that's part of what landscape photography is all about, is just being out in the landscape. I've just come further along the beach because as the sea went out the foreground just wasn't working over there, it's just a bit too messy so I've come a bit further around on the beach and hopefully this will work better as a foreground. There's more boulders and the sea is breaking on those boulders so I'm hoping that will work for my sunset shot.
So what a beautiful location and a beautiful conditions. The sunset was not quite perfect, it never is, but uh, it was still utterly beautiful and I think I got some really nice shots there with the sea lapping on these rocks and the sky lit up enough to be quite beautiful. So that's Talisker Beach. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. And if you have, please join me again when I'll be shooting on Sky or in the Highlands. So take care and I'll see you later.